Hey everyone, it's Melanie from MelanieKHam.com. Today's video is a crochet basics video. We are gonna be making yarn pom-poms. Now I've included this a few times in other videos, but I wanted its own video because I've got a couple of projects coming up where you can opt to use a crochet pom-pom if you'd like to. So this video is gonna show you how to make a big one like this, more traditional one like this, maybe a little baby one like this guy with a cute, cool yarn. And it's also going to tell you how to avoid your pom pom looking like this because no one wants that. So let's jump into the tutorial. I'm going to show you my favorite way to make yarn pom poms. Of course, the package of these come with instructions, but just in case you misplaced it, or I'm going to show you some of the tips that I have found works well. So you want to open up your pom pom maker and there's different kind of like off brand of the same kind of thing but clover was the first one to come out with this design that i'm aware of and we're basically the idea is we're going to wrap it around this side travel the yarn across wrap it around this side close it up and don't worry um, if you have longer tails at the beginning just we could trim those later so we're going to wrap this around and one of the biggest tricks that i have found that's helpful with wrapping i like to go an even amount across and then go back and just like build it up so that it's not just like a giant amount here and then a giant amount here. It just kind of creates a little bit more even pom-pom in the end. Now a common question is, well, how much do you fill it? And you fill it until it's hard to put it in down inside when you close it up, until it's hard to do that. So even with my little guy here, like it it's like barely going in there and this big one too with the textured like you're really having to kind of smash it in there in order to even be able to do the next step so go ahead and finish wrapping so we are finishing up with this side it's getting pretty difficult to smash it in there we all know that what it looks like to have a solid pom-pom but i'm going to show you how to make a two-tone one so we'll Bring it over here to the end. All right, we'll smash this down inside. And then we will cut this yarn. And I don't know if I mentioned, but you need a really nice, good pair of sharp scissors. This idea makes it really great for yarn scraps. And you could even do one solid piece like here of a different color, a different color. So you could do even up to four colors. So I'm gonna grab my new color, which is gonna be white so that you can see that nice contrast. And using a similar weight yarn is helpful for this. Wrap the other side in the same manner. Again, I like to kind of get a solid foundation and then build and go back across, build, go back across. That way it's even as you build it up. All right, so we've got our other side nice and wrapped. You can see we've completely filled up this section. So that's sort of one of the ways that you know you're getting close. Bring the yarn over to the end. We're gonna smash that down in there. Woohoo! look at that, two-tone. Now the next step is to take your sharp scissors and cut along here. There's a little channel to make that nice and easy. All the way across, let's do the other side. Make sure everything stays nice and closed. This one almost opened up on me. <laughs> I have it so nice and full. Okay, so then what you wanna do is cut a piece of yarn and we're gonna tie it right in here. Are you liking this video so far? Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Give that a nice pull. And then I like to tie a double knot. All right, so then we open it up. And then these pieces come apart like that. And there's how it looks right off of the contraption. That looks pretty good, right? So then you take your scissors and you just give it a little trimmy trim. It's usually around the center portion that just needs a little bit. Don't get too crazy with this. You're gonna always find another piece. So if you get to be too much of a perfectionist, you'll end up with the tiniest ball because you'll just keep cutting. I like to sort of look at it from the side and see if I see any that are kind of popping out. All right, there we go. There's our pom-pom. 
So that is how to make a yarn pom-pom using my favorite method, the Clover yarn pom-pom maker. Don't bother making pom-poms from a fork or cardboard. Trust me, I've tried them all. None of them work as well as this method. You will drive yourself crazy trying to trim your pom-pom with those other methods. If you need the tutorial for faux pom-pom, check that out down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's going to be a hat tutorial and I think you're going to love it. All right, bye. Not bad, right? So the Clover yarn pom-pom makers are linked down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.